Sports. Well, it's been a horrible day at one local high school where students and staff learned that a beloved coach and teacher was killed in a traffic accident last night south of Montgomery. The Spanish Fort High School girls basketball coach Thad Akins was killed when his SUV collided with an 18-wheeler. News 5's Debbie Williams is live in Spanish Fort tonight. Debbie, this was a man who made quite a difference in a lot of young people's lives. He absolutely did, Pete. And I'm going to step out of the way because there's a prayer vigil going on right now in honor of Coach Akins here at the football field at the Hill here at Spanish Fort High School. They've been uh, doing this prayer vigil for about half an hour now. We're hearing remembrances of Coach Akins and, and just some special memories there of a man who was passionate about his friends, his students, and his basketball team. A flag at half staff. I was a little bit in disbelief. A campus in mourning. He was a great friend. For Spanish Fort High School principal Brian Williamson, a difficult day that began with a phone call giving him the news that he would have to share with his staff and Coach Aiken's team. Definitely one of the tougher things that I've ever done, um, you know, because, you know, you, you try to stay strong for everybody to, and, and to, to be a leader in a situation like that, but at the same time, you know, I'm hurt and broken on the inside as well. A family man who spent almost half of his life teaching and coaching. I saw someone who, who wanted to make a difference in young people's lives, and he felt like not only in the classroom could he do that, but uh, going that extra mile outside the classroom. News 5 spoke with Coach Akins just a few months ago. This was his second year at Spanish Fort. He was excited about the new school year and continuing to build on a tradition of excellence in sports. His last game ended just a few hours before his death. They had just won the game. Um, he came over, I, I spent a couple of minutes, talked to him, you know, and, and shook his hand, congratulated him, and, uh, you know, he spoke to several other people, and then uh, he hit the road. His life's work was teaching, and Williamson says in this tragedy, there is also a lesson for us all. It just kind of hits home that, that life is precious and life is short, and, you know, things can happen in an instant. A couple hundred or more people are here at this prayer vigil. More are expected this weekend. A memorial service will be held at the gym here at Spanish Fort High School Sunday afternoon. Live on the Baldwin County Beat in Spanish Fort, Debbie Williams, News 5.